Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends. In the analysis of radiation, two of the most important things that need to be studied are the intensity of radiation and what is solid angle. Now let us talk about the same. The intensity of radiation and solid angle. So out of this, let us talk about the solid angle. See basically here we are talking about the analysis of radiation. Now radiation itself is quite complicated to understand because of the uncertainty in its direction and the wavelength. So for simplicity these two terms are coined that is the solid angle and intensity of radiation. So let us talk about the solid angle first. Now solid angle itself is defined as it's a measure of space enclosed by a conical surface so it's a measure of space so this is a space enclosed by a conical surface with a vertex of cone whose apex is at the center of da so again consider a surface and then small elemental area they are calling this small elemental area is da1 then what is g omega the, the area a2 is nothing but the area at the end of radius r so the region that is subtended by this cone this region itself is called as a solid angle so we can see it from the definition itself it's a measure of space enclosed by the conical surface with the vertex of cone whose apex is at the center of da and whose base is area da1 relative to the total space of sphere of radius r again it's a relative angle and obviously it is given as the area subtended to the distance square so solid angle itself is given by this simple formula so if this is the case where the small element area makes some area a2 at a distance r then in that case the solid angle d omega itself can be given as a2 upon r2 square see here i can write it here the small elemental area d a1 will make a solid angle d omega which is same as a2 upon r2 square the unit for this is stadion Now we are going to talk about this solid angle later. Now along with this let us talk about the implication of solid angle. Now again let us consider a small elemental area da. Now this area is dan. So this is the area normal to the direction of emitted radiation. Let us say the area da is an area seen from let us say point m. If you want to see it from point p it should look something like da into cos of theta where theta is the angle between these two lines now the area or the angle subtended by this cone is let's say d theta now in this case this this space itself can be given as they have written this d omega or this way now this indicates your solid angle now in this case I can easily write down my solid angle is nothing but the elemental area dan which is the normal area to the surface or to the direction p in which the radiations are emitted. So d omega is nothing but dan upon the, the distance square that is the r square. Now for this to find out that how is the area coming like this we will have to go for the geometrical analysis which we are not intended to do in this topic we will be doing it in the some other topic so right now simply understand that with a given geometry i can easily find out the value of solid angle if i know the normal area similarly this is also a very important topic that is the solid angle between the two elemental areas so in this case let us consider a small elemental area da1 and then the normal is somewhat like this and then there is some other area da2 which is oriented in some other fashion if i want to draw a line joining the two center point let us say that this line is making angle 
बीटा वन एंड बीटा टू विद द नॉर्मल टू द सर्फेस ड्राइ अंडरस्टैंड दिस इज द नॉर्मल टू द सर्फेस डी ए वन एंड दिस इज द नॉर्मल टू द सर्फेस डी ए टू देन इन दिस केस द सॉलिड एंगल ऑफ टू दैट इज सॉलिड एंगल ऑफ सर्फेस टू एट सर्फेस वन सो दैट इज वॉट द टू एंड द सब्सक्रिप्ट टू एंड वन इंडिकेट दैट इज द सॉलिड एंगल ऑफ सर्फेस टू एट सर्फेस वन कैन बी गिवन एज the elemental area of da1 into cos beta2 that is the angle between the normal and this line upon the distance square now obviously the distance is here given as r now r is this distance similarly if i want to find out the solid angle of surface 1 at surface 2 that is d omega 1 comma 2 can be written as the solid angle or the area of the opposite area that is at what you are going to find out the solid angle so that is da1 in this case into again the angle is now why we are considering this cos of beta1 is we are trying to align the given area to this line so whatever the surface area is there we will try to find out its approximation aligned to the given line this so i can name this line as let's say a and b so we will try to align the given surfaces parallel to this line itself so that is why the cos of beta is coming to picture and again in the denominator it is the r square now the next one is intensity of radiation this is simply defined as the total radiation or total emission by given surface per unit solid angle at given temperature and wavelength so that is why i can easily if i want to express this as i the i can be written as d e upon d omega where the d indicates the change in emission or the total emission and this is nothing but the solid angle so in this case if i know the value of the intensity i can easily find out the total emission if i know the solid angle so in this topic we talked about what is the solid angle then how to find out a solid angle with a mathematical expression similarly how to find out a solid angle for the two different planes and then what is the intensity of radiation now that is it in this topic thank you for watching this video please stay tuned with ekida and subscribe to ekida thank you